outside of Orlando, Florida, a mother and her boyfriend allowed a Burmese python to unalive her daughter and attempt to eat her. This is a crazy, crazy story that just blows my mind. And I bring it up because she was just released from prison. This actually happened 12 years ago outside of Orlando. It was an albino Burmese python, so one of the yellow snakes. Now, let me paint the picture of the story here, right? So a man and a woman divorce, right? And then the woman takes off, starts dating different guys, starts doing drugs, ends up with this dude. Jason Darnell moves in with him. Well, Jason Darnell got this big old snake that he's had for years. It's an albino Burmese python that's eight and a half feet long. Now, he doesn't really take good care of the snake, and it gets out multiple times. Now, the bio father keeps calling CPS because the mom is on drugs and also because they got a snake in there because he goes every weekend to pick up his kid, you know. But CPS shows up, and time after time, they ignore all of these warning signs. They just, for some reason, they don't see a problem with it. Nothing is done about this situation. Well, guess what happens? Eventually, these two get high on and so they're nodded off, passed out, and that starved Burmese python gets out of its enclosure and goes in to the room of the two-year-old daughter. And guess what happens? Ends up unaliving the daughter strangler and attempts to eat her. Now, somewhere in there, I guess they don't hear the screams, oh, this whole situation, until it was too late. The guy, Jason, wakes up, sees that the snake has gone out of the enclosure, runs into the bedroom, and just finds the scene. He grabs the knife, starts stabbing the snake, whatever, but it was too late. So they call the cops, whatever. They arrive, they get arrested, and they're put on trial. And, you know, the, the bio father, unfortunately, lost his daughter. This is really as much the state's fault as it is Jason Hare and the boyfriend Jason Darnell's. In my opinion, I got a three-year-old son. I cannot imagine what the father must have been going through when he got that phone call and he's been trying and fighting as much as he can to try to get full custody and was denied. And then this happens. I just, it's mind boggling. Anyway, they give them 12 years and tons of people seem to think that that was too harsh, 12 years each. And they were just released this past year. And people are like, oh, well, the, you know, the, the kid has passed away. It's not going to bring him back. Why do this? They didn't have intention. And I'm like, listen, it's negligent homicide. In my mind, inexcusable to me, inexcusable. There's so many red flags. State did nothing. And, you know, <laughs> there's just people are strange. Maybe it's just maybe it's me or maybe people are strange because there's this one comment by this lady, Melanie, Melanie Madness. You know, username checks out. She says it's not the snake's fault. It's irresponsible people who are at fault, not keeping it fed and not having a secure cage. Uh, of course, it's the lady and the dude's fault. Nobody's arguing otherwise, but the snake is caput, I capito. What are you talking about? The snake, the ch unalive the child. And this lady has the gall to say something like this, like defending a poor snake. Some of these people about that are, that are animal lovers, they just boggle my mind sometimes. <laughs> really, maybe it's me, I don't know. This story, just makes you realize some people shouldn't be having kids. And I, I don't know what we can do about this, but it's really unfair to children. Now, I understand at the time she was 21 and the Jason Donnell was 33. Well, he should know better. But either way, they got problems. The moment someone says, oi, I'm the bio father, mother's on drugs, she should lose custody. Like I said, this is, yes, it's their fault. It's the snake's fault. It's also the state of Florida's fault, in my opinion. I don't know. What do you guys think?